Hi, I'm Kim Sweet. One of the most enjoyable ways to learn about the rich history of Big Bear Lake is to take a scenic cruise on one of the many tour boats operating on Big Bear Lake. Tour boats have been offering scenic tours since the early 1900s. One of the earliest tour boats on Big Bear Lake was the Sierra. It was back in 1917 that the Inland Boat Company launched the first Sierra and began taking tourists on cruises of the lake. To learn more about the Sierra, let's go talk to Captain Chris Bellows of the Big Bear Queen. We're at the Big Bear Marina next to Big Bear Lake Village with Captain Chris Bellows of the Big Bear Queen. Hey, Chris. Welcome aboard. Thanks for having us. So, Chris, we've been telling our audience that tour boats have been cruising Big Bear Lake since the early 1900s and that the early Sierra was launched here in 1917. Can the original tour boat on Big Bear Lake. Okay. That ran up till the 1950s. Oh my goodness. And so what happened to it then? Well, the lake was virtually dry due to irrigating the orange groves. It was put in storage from the 50s up till 65. Uh -huh. The original uh, Sierra was renamed the Queen by the Baird family, operators of the marina at the time, and remained the Queen until 1973 when it was okay. replaced by the current hull we have today. Very good. Well, Chris, we're going to head over to the Blank Home and, and see what's going on over there. So thank you so much for having us today. Thanks for being on board. Here we are on Sawmill Cove at Mel Blank's house with his son, Noel. Hi, Noel. Yeah, what's up, Doc? As my daddy used to say. Now, we just got done talking with Captain Chris Bellows over at the Big Bear Queen, uh -huh. and he's going to be coming by pretty soon oh, really? with his, with his ah, boat. Now, we'll keep an eye out. Yes, yeah, so we hear that you have a tradition, a family tradition, about talking to the Queen as the Queen floats by. Can well, you tell us? my dad started talking to the Sierra. That was the original tour boat here. The boat used to come by every single day, a few times a day like it does now three or four times a day, and my dad used to get one of those cheerleading horns. Of course. Now I have an electric one, so it goes a lot further. But he used to get the cheerleading horn, run down the stairs here, and go out and say, Nee, wish I'm dark, and hype been in a suffer and suck a tash, what a noisy goop you have on. And I try to do the same thing now. And that started in about 19... Hmm, 48. Oh my goodness. So basically, your blank tradition has now turned into a Big Bear tradition. It's a Big Bear tradition, and not only do we have to do it for uh, Chris, but also the pirate ship comes by and Miss Liberty comes by. My wife says, here comes another boat, and I'm out in the dock about uh, 15 times a day on a good weekend. So wow. it's, it's really fun. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, it, it's a tradition that we all want to watch, and we're hoping for the Big Bear Queen as a matter of fact, I think the Big Bear Queen's coming upon us now. Perhaps you can say hi to all the folks on board. I sure will. Let me grab my... Uh, I'll grab my horn. See, this electric horn oh, now. Oh, goodness. And I'll say hi to the Big Bear Queen. Awesome. What's up, Doc? Hi, Chris. Well, suffer and suffetize, Chris. They got the best guy on Big Bear Lake, that's for sure. And you've got to tell them about your dad and your grandpa and the boat here, Bugs Bunny, and how we all were part of that early lake uh, around 1948 through 1950. As Porky Pig would say, have a gee, have a gee, have a gee, great ride on the Big Bear Kikik, Kikik, the Big Bear Kikik on that great big boat. What's up, Doc? We're shooting a little television right here, folks, so that's why we're down on the grass. How you doing, Don? Oh, great. Nice change in the weather. You've been around for a while. How, how long? I've been a pirate out here for at least 130 years. Yeah, you keep saying that, Don, but I look at you, and from here you don't look older than about 98. Although the pirate uniform looks a little older than that, I think it's time that you... Well, you stand it up in the closet, it stands by itself, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't hang it. <laughs> hey, have a good one, everybody. Porky Pig would say, have a good day, have a good day, great ride on the pee pie, pee pie, pee -pie on that great big boat. <laughs> You're welcome, Don. Tour boats... That, that boat can come in five times, six times a day, 
and my mom always used to say to my dad, the boats are coming, the boats are coming. Now my wife always says, the boat's here, because all the windows in the cabin face out, and the cabin's very narrow, so wherever you are, you see the water. So Noel, we've been talking about tour boats on the lake. Um, tell us about other types of boats. I know that there's some history of some unusual boats on the lake. Can you fill us in on that? Yeah, very unusual. There were the step in agains. That step in again, one, two, three, and four. They were about 23, 27 feet long. And they were Chris Crafts and Garwoods. And step in again, one was the fastest boat on the lake. It had an Allison aircraft engine in it that was 460 horsepower and it was a V16. It was an amazing uh, motor. Charlie Stillwell owned the boats. Okay, of and, Stillwell, historic Stillwells. Yes, yeah. historic okay. Stillwells. And uh, he would take my dad and myself out for a ride in the boat. One day we were on the boat. I remember right out right in front of the house here. And uh, I started smelling something, like a burning. I said, I'm sitting in the middle, my dad's here, and I'm in the middle, Charlie Stillwell is driving, and he says, uh, what are you smelling? I says, well, I'm smelling some kind of heat, Charlie. Well, he didn't, that wasn't, uh, he didn't care. So he conked the throttle on, he says, I'll show you how fast this thing is. Uh -oh. And I'll tell you, it was really fast. And we went down the lake probably at 65, 70 miles an hour. Good grief. We came back, and I still smelled the problem. Three hours later, my dad and I are sitting on the porch with my mom, and we watched, we saw the step in, one go mm -hmm. west, mm -hmm. but it didn't come east. Uh -oh. And then we saw a wrecker pulling it back. Oh. He had thrown a rod through the motor, through the side of the boat. Luckily, the boat ah. didn't sink. And that was the end of Step In Again 1 for many, many, many years until our friend Cap Peck had restored it. And you know, Kim, after that motor blew up in Step In 1, uh, Charlie Stillwell sold his resort. He left Big Bear, and he took the Step In 1 with him. Uh, the bolt hole was painted uh, black, <laughs> and a different motor was installed, not a great big airplane engine. And the Step In 1 was put back to work, offering rides at Magnolia Pier in uh, Long Beach, up until the oh, early 50s when it sank. But the boat was pulled from the ocean and hauled back to Big Bear. It was placed in storage for the next 20 years. But eventually it was auctioned off in the mid 70s and taken back down the hill. Now this was when the difficult task of restoring the now seriously deteriorated Step In One began. Well, 30 years later, the fully restored Step In One was brought back to Big Bear Lake when it was purchased by a local Big Bear Lake historian, Cap Peckham, and his wife, Barbara, in 2012. Here, Cap and I get ready 65 years after that last fateful ride in 1948 to take this beautifully restored classic out for a welcome home run right down Big Bear Lake and not at full speed. So there was one through four of Step Ins. One through four. Gosh. Thank you, Noel, for having us today, and thank you for indulging us with your talking with all of <laughs> the boats. You're and welcome. Kim. Everybody, be sure and come and take a tour on beautiful Big Bear Lake. That's for sure. And the V, the V, the V, that's all, folks. <laughs>